Yo, what's up, people? It's your boy P, also known as Captain PC7 from Twitch. We're back at it with another God Bills video for you today. What we're going to be covering is the crazy, super powerful, blastastic gun lance. So, next in line in the series for the blast weapons, we've covered longsword, lance, sword and shield. I have got a bow build coming very soon. We've done charge blade, done a few other builds as well. Um, I've actually done a rework of the original Lance video, which got over a thousand, it's like thousand hundred views. So it's on 1.1k views, and I did a master touch version of it. So the original version was amazing, super powerful. But then some people got a bit mm, funny, funny about it because I didn't read the description. So I actually made a new updated video. So you make sure you check that video out. It's a master touch video, so it's got all the same perks, just as powerful. Um, if not powerful because of the DPS and Master's Touch, you never lose sharpness and it's absolutely the same, so make sure you check that video out I've got the bow left to do, I've got the hammer left to do, I've already been, done the bow uh, but not released on YouTube, I've already got a God Build video I'm releasing but I'm doing a few testing so I want to make it very optimal I don't want to be copying the other Zafi kind of builds out there that have already been released I always do my own kind of builds, um, so make sure you check that out If you want me to cover anything else, let me know, but it is literally just a hammer left, I believe uh, After the hammer, I think it's just a hunting one, I've literally covered every blast weapon in the game with Zafi and done true god builds for him. The highest DPS, best defense. So without further ado, let's get into this build real quick. And over here, if you buff it the way I buff it, you'll get attack 697. Sharpness, you'll get a nice little chunk of purple sharpness, but you get a fat chunk of white sharpness. With protective polish built in. So once you put the protective polish on, you can just fight and fight and fight and fight. You will not lose any sharpness for a good minute. And then you'll get that massive chunk of purple as well as a white which will do a lot of damage when you're poking and shelling. And I've gone for a wide shelling because I prefer wide shelling personally. I like to get in and be aggressive. I know long is a kind of go-to at the moment with like long shelling shots. Even normal, I've got normal shelling level 7 build I did a couple of weeks ago. I didn't release a video for it. So I want to do a bit more testing and what I prefer. But I'll probably release that at some point as well as a blast one though. But this one has, again, that sharpness. 55% crits, 55% base affinity, 240 blast. Wide shelling level 6 and we've gone for... A shedding wide to awaken ability. We've gone for attack increase maximum six. We've gone for attacking uh, affinity increase five for those crits to make it viable. And we've added double sharpness again because with the gun lance, everyone knows you lose a lot of sharpness quick. So with double sharpness, it gives you purple. The pokes would do purple pokes originally. A lot of base damage. So if you poke shelling, poke shelling, poke shelling, you want to do a lot of damage on the poke part, which you'll see I'll do in the shelling numbers. And I'll go over the build for you real quick. So again, we we'll go over here, with what you'll get this build, you get Critical Eye level 7, Artillery level 5, Guard 5, Evade Extended 3, Flinch 3, 3, Focus 2, Tremor Resistance 1, Attack Boost 1, Capacity Boost 1, Speed Eating, Slinger Capacity, Mind's Eye, and Guard Up, and Protective Polish Build into the build. So I'll go over here for you now, and we'll just remove some of these, and I'll show you exactly the build, and I'll talk you through it, and I'll go through each individual kind of uh, perk and what it does and why it's on there as well. So let's remove this, POW. Let's remove this pow. And let's remove this pow. So what we've added in the build itself is the Safi Shatter Buster. We've got a Stone Throw Expert Jewel 4 in there. We've used the Sora Headgear Beta for the Artillery 5. Um, with that you get one flinch free, a four gem slot, a two gem slot, a one gem slot. I've added artillery jewel four, a jumping jewel two in there, artillery one. And then moving on to the next part, we get I've used the Damascus Smell Beta, which gives you two, uh, two focus, four gem slot, two gem slot, and one gem slot. I've used Goblet Expert Jewel 4, Magazine Jewel 2, Artillery 1. We've got the Zora Claws Beta, which gives Flinch 3, 2. And we've got a four gem slot, a one gem slot. I've added a Jumping Attack Jewel 4, Artillery Jewel in there as well. Um, I've also used the Zora Spine Beta, which gives you Tremor Resistance 1, a 4 gem slot and a 3 gem slot. I've added Expert Jewel 4, a Sharp Jewel in there as well, again for that protective polish. And then we've used the Garuga Grease Beta, which uh, gives you 2 Critical Eye, a 4 gem slot, a 2 gem slot, a 2 gem slot. And I've added Jumping Expert Jewel 4, Mind's Eye 2 and Shield Jewel 2 for that guard up. Um, again, some builds don't have this on, but I don't understand why. You do need this up to protect against unblockable attacks. So have this on plus guard 5 on top as well. So I've used Ironside Charm 4, uh, 5. So we've got not only the guard up is there, the guard 5 is on there as well. So Ironside Charm 5. And that way you don't lose any kind of uh, health or when you're getting hit with like a lot of attacks and black will attacks. Um, I just did see the Basil Geese just as a test run. Blocks all the attacks. Only sharpen once throughout the whole fight. Um, 
including the protective polish, you know, from uh, the mid sharpener. And uh, we went through all the sharpness, absolutely insane, still crazy damage, blocked every single attack. There's no attacks that we could get hit with. I run the Safi Shiva she Siege just before this. Many parts broken, many parts broken, uh, many flinches again, a lot of damage, a lot of KO damage. Um, it's just very powerful, it's very, very powerful. So again, um, when you had Mind's Eye, you won't be bounced off any kind of uh, monsters. So if anything's armored, Silver Rathalos, Gold Rathalos, uh, Safi, even if you're not if you're not on Purple Sharpness, you will be bouncing off with normal attack. So your Poke Shell, Poke Shell won't work. But obviously with this, you won't have to worry about that at any point. So I'll head over to the train area for you, and I'll show you the kind of build itself. Uh, what's up, Acapolo? Welcome back to the stream. Just doing a quick guide builds video for uh, YouTube. So I'll show you over here in the train area, so you can see what kind of numbers we'll be looking at, what we're working on as well. And then we'll do the regular kind of damage, and then I'll do the damage with the Wyvern Stake built in as well. So you'll kind of see what's going on. I'm going to change the train area accordingly, and we'll get back to it. I will be covering some more builds in the future um, as well, so there'll be quite a lot I will be covering. So let's change this. So if you're anything else covered, let me know. But I am covering the hammer next. I am covering the bow next, and then the hunting horn as well. Bow is pretty much done. Just need to um, make a few adjustments to make sure it's up to one. Right now, I'll just show you the poke and shilling combo right now. This is without sharp with protective polish on, so we're not going to sharp. But we're in purple sharpness. 101, 85, 104, 85, 83, 85. So as you can see, the way I made the build, the poke itself actually does more damage than the shilling. So it's absolutely insane. We haven't clutched, we haven't used the Wyvern Stake or anything. The main pokes, they actually do more damage than the Shelly on purple. Now 96, 99, 99 still, and we haven't even clutch clawed it. So for example, if you go in for a clutch claw, you can kind of see the numbers already. 99, 85. So you're going to get 85 regardless on your blast. This hasn't got Bombardier included the skill to make your blast go up or more on your gunland shells. This is just base. Like I said, I always go off base. So then you can do the rest and figure it out for yourself what kind of numbers you'll be doing. Uh, in future, if you want me to do numbers with included buffs, I can do that as well. It's not really a big deal. But I thought it'd be more fun for you guys to test out the builds for yourself, try them out, see what you guys can do, um, work it out from there. But as you can see, we've still got a lot of white sharpness. So it does last a good while. Um, but now, what I'll do is we'll do a protective polish real quick. Then I'll use a women's stake in there and you'll see the damage on the shells as well. So check this out. 202, 286, 97. Additional 117 on top. Now check these numbers out. So again, it's uh, extra 40 on top with base. So you're doing your normal shed, your poke shell is 101, then 85, then 40. So if you're good at mass, you can just work that out pretty quickly. So that's kind of base damage you'll be doing overall. 80 plus 40 every time. 85 plus 40 every time for that poke shell, minimum. Well, actually more than that, you'll be doing, say, let's have a look. Even if we're getting these, we're getting like different numbers, we're getting like 70s plus. So 101, 85 and 40, so that's your base damage. Absolutely insane. And again, you're going to be in purple sharpness for a while, so if the enemy's not, you can just kind of keep hitting the same tags over and over again. The numbers all got slightly down when you lose a bit of purple sharpness with the poke, but as you can see, still crazy numbers. But there you folks have it. Crazy new, super powerful OP gun lance build. Um, has all the procs and the perks on there for you as well. So again, you'll get crit eye level 7, artillery 5, um, guard 5, evade extender 3, flinch 3, focus, tremor resistance, attack, capacity, speed eating, slinger, mind's eye, and protective polish, and guard up. Now what I'll quickly do is I'll just go over the actual specs for you now, um, because there are a lot of new people to the game itself. So critical eye we got maxed, and we got that for the affinity, so that gives you 55 base affinity. You all do 100% crits every time you clutch the monster, so it's guaranteed to crit every time. Before that, you got 55% chance of doing base crits. Zora Magdaro's three-piece set, wall-raise artillery up to five. So artillery five, 
Increases power of each attack by 50% and reduces, reduces women fire core now by 70%. So you can do a lot of shelling. So strengthens explosive attacks like gun lance shells, obviously what we're using at the moment. Women's fire, charge blade fire attacks and sticky ammo. So the, the, the shells obviously are so strong because artillery 5. Guard 5 again, reduces knockbacks and stamina and depleting guard. Massively decreases the impact of attacks and reduces stamina depletion by 50%. Meaning you can dodge a little bit more, hop away, get to a safe point and keep moving. Evade extended 3, greatly extends evasion distance, so that's the maximum. Flinch 3, prevents knockbacks and tripping, increases some kin sector extract effects. Focus 2, increases gorge fill rate by 10% and reduces charge times by 10%. That'll definitely help you in the long run. Uh, grants protection against ground tremors, nullify minor ground tremors. We've got attack boost level 1, so it gives you an extra attack 3 on top. So it'll give you a little bit on top of that base bolt. Capacity boost, that increases gun lance shell capacity, so loading capacity is an extra 1. Speed eating, again when using lance or gun lance, everyone knows how difficult it is to sheath and unsheath. You want to get out of there and eat, get your health back up or get your items used as quick as you can. So this is like a bit of a bonus added on for you. Slinger capacity, now increases loading capacity for slinger ammo attempted in the fields, limits the amount of ammo used in firing certain shots. So increases the loading capacity for slinger ammo. This actually increases your duration time for your women's stake. So the women's stake will last a lot longer with this added. You can increase this as much as you, as much as you want, but I've added it as a bonus and it definitely lasted a good while. Uh, I'd use the women's stake and see the basil geese. I used two. I just that's all I had to use was two and kill it. Um, so I don't see why you'd have to use anything more that'll make it higher than it needs to be. Mine's eye again, prevents attacks from being deflected, also shortens the distance before the arrow to reach maximum for pa uh, power as well as ammo. But you can kind of see it for yourself and I've already explained what it does, so it stops you from being deflected, so you won't lose your DPS or your focus if you're especially losing a lot of uh, sharpness. A lot of the gun lance and lance kind of uh, fights you will lose a lot of sharpness and when you get to that lower chunk of sharpness you don't want to be bouncing off and uh, getting carted. Again guard ups included allows you to guard against ordinarily unblockable attacks and again it just makes you block anything again it's unblockable but there are still some unblockable attacks that will hit you but again this will 95% help you throughout the game. And again protective polish weapon sharpness does not decrease after a set of time so about 60 seconds I believe it lasts you won't lose any sharpness whatsoever you give you constant DPS and so kick some ass. Uh, part break and agitator they will be on the mantle so ignore those I normally say but if you want me to cover anything else let me know but that is the true guide build for you for the gun lance for a, a wide chilling one uh, I'll cover normal and long if you want me to cover those as well make sure you support my content captainp67 on twitch the sub and the donation links will be in the description below if you need anything else let me know but uh, I'll make a new guide build in the next few days if not tomorrow and I'll catch you in the next one peace out